taking on the big shots and working hard to get you answers. In on your sides, Mark Douglas investigates. Some customers of Real Rock Pools have been clamoring for refunds. And now an eight on your side investigation is getting results. Last week, Jeff Brennan, the owner of Real Rock Pools, told, his, uh, told us that basically his company is broke. But after our story broke with Mark Douglas here, he managed to scrape up that money and start paying back customers who've been waiting months for a refund. And eight on your side investigator Mark Douglas is back now telling us there really was a lot of stake here, not only for Brennan, but for these customers. No question about it, Keith. A lot at stake here. Now, the customers, they needed their deposits back. And Brennan, he was flirting with possible criminal charges if he didn't comply. Real Rock Pools owner Jeff Brennan says he's been building pools for decades, but lately... Uh, in a word, struggling. Brennan has about a dozen pool projects under contract, and none moving quickly. Last week, two of his customers told us they've waited six months for $20,000 in refunds, all for pools that Brennan never even started. Been paying on a loan as well for the past four months that we have nothing to show for. Brennan later told us their money was gone. But how did that disappear from your company bank account? Just through construction of everything. Other people's pools? Yes, sir. Attorney Jeff Leiser tells us taking construction money from one project and spending it on another likely breaks two Florida laws. And if you use the funds for other purposes, whether it's for another job or it's for paying your own personal auto loan bills or whatever the case may be, you've just, create, you've just committed a crime, most likely. Days after we explained that to Brennan, he suddenly closed a loan and repaid Sullivan and Del Judice. You're laughing today. Yes, I have a smile on my face. Sullivan credits Pasco consumer advocate Mike Fazzano and Aid on Your Side for her $10,000 refund. And I truly believe if I hadn't talked to Mike and subsequently you, we wouldn't have our money. Ashley Del Judice got her $10,000 refund too. Awesome. Good to see you. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, I really appreciate it. Everything that you guys did, for sure. She's already hired another contractor to finally build her pool. They started today, so I'm pretty happy. I'm getting pictures as we speak of what the progress is looking like at the moment. A number of other Real Rock uh, customers are still on edge about the completion of their pools. In fact, they've even created a Facebook group, and we'll keep tabs on all of that to make sure that everyone comes out of all of this square right so what really what's the lesson here for other consumers who want to hire a pool sure. contractor well, there are some uh, lessons first of all you should always get references and a lot of these people did that and uh, don't ever let the contractor whether it's for a pool or anybody anything else get ahead of the draw that's really important and Jeff Leiser says hire a lawyer to look over that contract I mean these people are spending fifty sixty thousand dollars it's worth a few hundred dollars to make sure you've got a good contract that protects you so if you do those three things you should be swimming in pool by summertime. All right. Mm -hmm. sure. All right. Thank you, Mark. And if you have a problem you want Mark to investigate, give him a call. Eight on your side's helpline number is 1-800-338-0808.